Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I want to show you how to close a pillow that you have stitched and you haven't got a zip or you don't know how to put in a zip and just how to close this opening up. Really, really easy. Once you've sewn your cushion, so I'll refer you, I'll give you the link to go back to how to make a cushion. What I've done is I've just sewn over a half inch little seam here on both sides. I've shoved my cushion into the inside of the cavity of my cushion and then it's just a matter of, because often you don't have a zip or you can't decide how you're going to close it. Well you can make lots and lots of cushions and you don't really need to put a zip in it because you can hand stitch it closed. So what I want to do is to go up to, so when I open it there I've got my little, I've got my two seams where I've sewn it. So bring that line up to there so that on the outside those two seams are nice and matched and are even. From there it's a matter of getting your pins, pins will be your best friend, and then just pinning the, this line here or this fold here with that fold there. So do one end first and then go to the other side and match those up again and then with your pin just put a pin into there. Now it's going to get a bit sort of like thick and bulky so you just have to keep pushing that pillow that inner into there and then go to the middle making sure you've got your middle, pinning that again like so, and then where, see how I've got that gapey bit there and the gapey bit there? This is when you're just gonna have to kind of ease that in as you go, so we can stress that as we're going, and that will mean to me, that when I see that happening, that makes me know that I didn't have this face and this face exactly even. So when you're doing your cutting out and you're doing your, your stitching, make sure that if you're allowing a half inch hem or a seam all the way around that it is half an inch because as you can see, because it isn't quite as it should be, I've got excess fabric on this side as opposed to that fat side. So I'm just going to have to do what we call a little bit of easing to make sure that I've got those all nice and as even as I can and I might just have to adjust it over this side which is going to mean that that side there is going to be protruding from this side here but we can sort of hide that as we go. Right, once you get to there and it's all um, pinned across to hold it, it's now a matter of doing the hand stitching. Now you need matching thread, but if you don't have any matching thread, I just want you to know that dental floss is by far the best and the strongest of any tape you can get. And because of the stitching that we're going to do today, hopefully will be neat enough so that you won't see the stitching. Okay, the first thing to do is to make a little knot. And what I do is, so you need a length of thread and you need um, a long tail and a short tail. Doesn't need to be that short, but you know, at least a couple of inches from there to where the next one starts when you pull them down. And the reason we do that is when you pull it through, you don't get a double, th have the double threads together. Okay, now to make the knot, it's just a matter of forming a little loop at the end, like I've done, and then holding it firm so that you've got the both the bits of, of tape together. And then I just go through there again and just pull that and bring it down until you've got a little knot at the end. It's not gonna be a, a big knot, but it's enough to just hold the fabric at the beginning. Okay, so going up to the edge here, and what I do is I start about Oh, a good half a centimetre away from the end, from you know the end or where I'm going to start sewing, and then just pull that through and just give it a wee tug so that that little tail that's protruding is actually down inside the casing. Now it's just a matter of taking your thread and pulling that through and then going this way. Little, little, little baby stitches, just as if you were doing the sewing on, it, the machine was doing it. If you've got a sewing machine, you could use your sewing machine, but what you will find is that it's going to be really, really fiddly and it's going to be bulky putting that through the foot because you've got all this bulky bit here, which will actually usually just slip around. So you know what, hand stitching 
is my best friend. So you're just going through, you are going to see the thread, but you're not really going to see too much of them. And you just make sure that all your stitching as you go across is all nice and neat and as even as you can and keep going until you get to your pin, get as close as you can to your pin and then take that pin out and it's just a matter of continuing straight through as I'm doing here, pulling as you go and when you get to the bits where you've got, whoop, see that there, I hate it when that happens, when that gets in the row, so just take that off there. And then you might find that as you're going along, um, this bit of thread here might start to slip through like that. So just take that down a bit so that you've got the control over that so that that doesn't happen. And then we're going to there, and I want to show you when you get to these bits here where you've got actually, oh, it's done it again. Take that down into there. When you get to the area where you need to sort of start adjusting or easing in, just give it a wee pull, just like I'm doing now, so that you can just ease that excess fabric in to the face or the shorter size. Just It's just a little tuggy bit until you get it. And when you, you can see the stitches on this side, but it's okay. I don't mind that at all because once you've done your pillow and it's all finished, and let's just imagine that we've gone right to the other side. What I do once I've done it is I just give them a pillow, just a good whack like that, and then just give it a wee massage so that the cushion goes and, I can't quite do it at this stage, but just until that there, it, the cushion is right into the edge and it puffs it all out. So there's one method until we get to the sewing school and I show you how to insert a zip. So you don't need to be lost and unable to use your cushions because you couldn't finish them off. Just hand stitch. Perfect solution. Hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you.